<laughs> so it's uh, sweet. The, the German team has five players more in the competition, which is actually the of the Champions Cup. That's really um, important fact. Or let's see. Um, now the German team got uh, the ball and they're in the corner. They're coming now over the other side, passing in the middle, passing it farther. We have three wide defending and now um, there was a block, yeah, but it did not work very much from the blue team. And we have now we have Stefan Elusa right underneath. She's the captain of the national team. Sorry. She's the captain of the national team, yeah. Um, uh, national team. Yeah, the German national team. I um, I don't know. I think normally Laura Büchner uh, is the captain, or they used to be the, from Langen. So I think let's check that out. Um, but Laura is not playing. I think we don't have the captain. Yeah. The, we don't know who the captains are for those teams. So we are on the Swedish side and the German team is attacking without a break and very quite intensive because the Swedish got the ball back. We have, I think this is Sigmar Davidson trying to counter. The forechecking is very good from the German team. I mean, even they lost the ball one or two few times. They're now attacking directly in the goalie, but um, it was not possible. It's still a lot of resistance and poor checking from the Swedish side. I mean, they're doing a good job, actually. It got dangerous for a minute there. We have about 90 people watching. Let's see, you have the, the, one of the German players. She's uh, almost wrapped herself around the basket. Just got the ball. I think that was she wanted. The Germans are circulating the ball also around the baskets, coming in, getting back out, passing, passing, and back into yeah. back into Well, the I think, you know, that's fine. I mean, you need to play clever. You cannot start already, you know, if you see that a three, four of the opposite, of course, mm. just this wait. Just but sometimes you need to go in just to break a little bit and create some chaos, because otherwise it can become a bit passive. Of know? course, it's also very tiring for the defense if you're, at, if you're attacking. Yeah. A bit, then drawing back out, and then attacking again. Yeah. It it's creates a lot of unrest in the in the defense. And yes. It's very tiring, especially if you think um, the Black Mermaids. They only have ten players. Yep. So they will, because they will get a bit tired um, with this kind of game. We have now a, a player from Langen under the goalie, waiting very well placed. We have Kati there, the and that's the goal. goal. Yeah, Kati is the captain. Kati has been playing also since at least 20 years. A uh, very experienced uh, player. And um, now she's the captain of the team. She just scored. That was number 15. Now Hati has, Kati has the erste Tor gemacht für die deutsche Zuschauer. Seid ihr da? Ja, Patricia Spalek hat geschrieben. Um, 1-0. Uh, Lass uns mal schauen, wie es weitergeht. Um, so the Black Mermaids were now um, in the half of Langen, attacking the basket. One, that's just one player against uh, four. Okay. Hey, wow! Well, that was grabbing the head of it. That was, you know. Okay, the Germans got the ball again. That's the, I think that you know they were so much attacking. Now, when you have to for so long attacking and to defend, sometimes it can be a little bit chaotic. And yes. but it's a good job. Yeah. It was a nice steal of the ball uh, by Langen to get off the hands of one of the Black Marines. So we are back on the Swedish side now. And uh, who that was a. Very risky change. Uh, defender left her position, left some a lot of space for uh, the other two German players to come to the basket. And this is again a goal. Um, could you see who was the one? Doing? No, I, I don't know the players. This is sometimes, you know, it's um, very handy with the men when we have the 
the t-shirts uh, because we can see the numbers better than with the women. The, the women too, they have the numbers on the, on the back. Mm, yeah, some of them and some have the fins, but I've been checking and sometimes the fins don't match the number they are giving us. <laughs> or the number five, for instance, is not in the list, for instance. Um, so we have now the German team in position of the ball, they're counter-attacking and now they are back. Uh, oh, that was a bit as um, that was a good counter-attack, but the ball got missing uh, in the last pass, so they had to kind of, you know, trace back and that slow down the whole now all attack and now they have to start from square one trying to disrupt the defending of the Swedish team. Now we have two blues run that right underneath and that's Stephanie Lusa Oh no, that was Ooh, that was a goal so Petra, that sorry. Yes. Oh that was the number six anyway. <laughs> okay. The numbers on the fins, if they are with a German flag, they don't correspond to the club numbers because they are not the team numbers. Yes, yes, some of them do and some yes. not, but I read the six as a nine, that's why. <laughs> so that's also easy to mistake. So this was a very nice goal, actually. The German player came over, she lifted the goalie by the by the shoulder and uh, scored on the wall side. Yeah, no, and so I recognize it by the body language who is playing. but uh, oh, because uh, you know them. So no, not all of them, just some. Um, so here we have a free throw for Langen. Let's see what the referee said. So we're again in front of the Swedish baskets and the Germans are again swimming around, passing and uh, creating confusion for the Swedish defenders and for checkers. We see as well that the, s the teams, both of them are s playing a bit slower now. The beginning was yeah. very fast. Yeah, well, but it's 3-0 for the Germans, so now, you know, the, the ones that need to speed up maybe a little bit is uh, the Swedish team trying to recover the ball and see if they want to maybe try to at, at least score a few goals. I don't know if it's going to be possible because right now the Germans are in control of the ball and control of the game actually pretty yes, much pretty much they're forcing the the black movements to defend uh, and the way they want them so but we, we knew okay, and I'm, we I'm surprised because you know the the um, black mermaids maybe could do a, a bit of a um, stronger for checking like right now that they're doing because they're letting the Germans swim around, swim around and now we have I think that's Kati who's on the goalie and that was a little bit dangerous. Now they recovered the ball and the counter attack but there was a great recovering from the German it was just swimming into and I think yeah that's Stephanie. That's Stephanie and Usa. Um, now we have two against two and um, you see that you know German team really pass the ball, pass the ball, and then when they are right under the goal, and then they, they do a lot strong. And it's basically a one against one situation yeah. with a one player shifted the goalie. The four zero for uh, Germany now, and we still have over a little bit over a minute to go from the first half of the uh, game. And referees, we have Lars Olsen on the open side that we see here, and uh, Emre on the closed side, and Janne Lindell on the deck. Okay, so we have now Again, another attack, a goal is being grabbed and pulled up by one of the German players, but um, that was well defended, there was no score still, and uh, they are trying to come over the close side, but they're passing the ball, I mean, we always have at least one or two players uh, of the German team to receive the pass and continue the attack, I mean, so they can build up really these waves. But now I think, I mean, uh, the Swedish team is defending a little bit, well, okay, that because the Germans are closer, but uh, 
they're more on to the, the, the one with the ball. Because before, a few minutes before, they were too passive, just watching how the Germans were passing the ball around. Now they we have a... Uh, uh, half time. Okay. Yeah, it's half time. Three minutes. Do we have Swedish uh, fans watching? Let us know. Let some commentary for your teams, because the teams watch the, the matches then afterwards, and then they can see the live commentaries, and then... Um, here we are with Lisa and uh, Beate behind, and already you can see the um, the Pokalen, <laughs> the, the, the trophy. <laughs> the trophy. The trophy. <laughs> we are missing still the women's um, trophy because I think uh, that the um, Norwegians still haven't arrived. No, they, they will play uh, at half past three, so um, yeah. uh, in an hour, I guess, yeah. Okay, so let us know your comments. What do you want to know? Uh, how is the sound? Is it a little bit better? I mean, they are... Jens here is putting it. I think it's nice, you know, to have it like, kind of... It's more almost like artistic. <laughs> this is, this is better. <laughs> have a headless person in the back. Beata has no more heads. Thank you, Jens. Perfect. Uh, is the sound still a lot metallic or has had battery somehow? Sound is good. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you. It's quite metallic still. It's like all <laughs> that Jens. This is Jens, one of our technicians. Uh, all of your complaints go back to, uh, to him and Bine. Uh, He's been working really hard with Bine on fixing the live stream and the sound and everything. Today apparently was difficult. I know that all the technical stuff was like a bit uh, more challenging than other years. Apparently, it happens. There's people and are playing. That's looks important. I want to show you look beautiful T-shirt that we got for from Guasabro. The orcas are arriving here. now for the. We are. It is for the crew. If you want to buy, can you see my back? If you want to buy, then they are going to have uh, other. Uh, I mean, the ones for the kind of beneath, and you can buy them. And I think, yeah, you could pre-order some online as well so by the way you know we had the academy yesterday if you want to collaborate we have some stickers that they did for us so we can gather some money so we can build up a website and put all of the presentation we had done in the last three years so come here to the box and it's a, a sticker for two euros <laughs> so we can have some money to com continue with the work of the academy so let's see, a few seconds to go, second half between the German team of Jusen Langen and the uh, Swedish team of Black Mermaids, 4-0 for, for the German team. And uh, so far I don't see how the Black Mermaids can turn this around because uh, Germany is very, very strong in the way they are playing right so now. grabbing equipment, so... Yep. Uh, free throw against the Black Mermaids. There has been a couple free throws already, and all um, in favor because of the Germans. Uh, okay. No, or one. Or but do you see that we have been always because of the same? They're grabbing the equipment. They have like a ten. There are some teams that have the tendency to to commit like the same kind of mis fouls, but I didn't see that. Okay, we have one of the Germans right underneath, and That's that cool. was a goal. And a textbook. Textbook. That was. Yeah, she, she just did a push-up She has she has a way of scoring. moving the water, and she's uh, yeah the number six. Um, but before he had the fin, was the other way around? So I read it like a nine. It happens. And so it's five zero now for Germany, and within the first minutes of the second half. We're in the middle, Germans have the ball, and then they counter-attack, mm -hmm. now they're a little bit farther away. Apparently the Swedish recover, or they're, that's what we can't see what's going on. They're off the picture, literally. Okay, camera, we need a camera straight in the middle. The Germans are we have about 100 people watching. Okay, 
So free throw for the black mates. For holding, for equipment. Grabbing the equipment. For grabbing the head. Grabbing the head, I think. I'm I look sure. like it. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if this gives some opportunity to Black Marids to attack a bit more um, in the German half. So here we have Signal Davidson with the ball and the basket got tackled by a German player. Uh, oh, that was a little bit on the neck. Mm, much. It didn't look that she was on purpose, like, you know, attacking there, but it just looked a little bit dangerous, and that's already a reason to maybe... I don't think the referee saw it. No, it was difficult. The angle, it's sometimes difficult. Sometimes we have a better angle from the camera, you know. Uh, so we are now um, watching Germany against uh, Sweden, and now it's a free throw against the Swedish team. And I can't I think see... We're getting out of the... the, get out of the field, think, yeah. of yes. It went out of the play area. So, yeah, I don't know who the number five is, I don't know. Ah, well, it's uh, the number five, Simone Lepa, but uh, here I have it as a number three. It just looks like there was a timeout, yes, uh, one of the teams took a timeout. Oh, which one of them? Mm, well, I... I guess it might be the maybe the black movies took a time out to stay. I also they got the time, think the, the so because being five zero for a free throw, uh, I don't know if you have m more than maybe giving your time just to breathe a little bit and maybe try to practice something. That could be another thing. Maybe the Germans could have also for the for the time out and get organized and see if they want to use, I don't know, a special tactic or, I don't know, I'm it not saying, but well, it you say, well, anyway, we're, we're not going to win this, we cannot really turn it around, so let's try to play, take a bit more initiative, we're doing yeah. something else, anyway, we're losing and it doesn't really matter how much who else is in the group. Swine, I mean, they are in the group. With Barcelona. With so Barcelona, yeah. Goal difference still matters, of course, for replacement. Well, but that's the thing. I mean, before when they was a time they played penalties, and normally I don't understand. We never done it in the past, so I need to check so that out. The referees was holding, I think, on two baskets uh, by London. So we have now the Swedish team in possession. Again, holding again by the Germans. It's another free throw for the Black Mermaids. Same free throw for the same mistake at not even 20 seconds difference. Here we have scrum. Swedish have the ball attacking the three Swedish players in the water and they just lost the ball. They it escaped their hands. The counter was like by the Germans. Um the uh So the Germans are so attacking again. Yeah, sorry, Lisa. I, let you, I was ask, I was answering the the, the chat. The people were asking what do, when what do we think? Which teams are going to be in the podium? And I just wrote that I think that uh, female or male. I think the three countries are strong and they have the chance are the Colombians, Norway, and Germany. That's for me the three, and and, and both males and females. That's my. Let's see the, the Danish women as well because they're they're good and they arrived third. Yeah, year. last year they 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 won seven with seven girls, but yeah, let's see. Let's see. Um, so we have now um, the German team still attacking, and they're on the half of the Swedish team, and the Swedish team are defending quite well. It's just the attack that is failing. It's like they cannot really pass and go on the other side of the pole. It's like German for checking. It's really really. Uh, good because um, you know the defending is also I mean it's, it's not been uh, a very easy game I mean that every every goal has been really fought for 
They're fighting in the corner now. Swedish got the ball that the Germans let escape. That was scrum on the surface. Because the, the Swedish are trying to push it away from the basket. Can't really see what's happening. Okay, so one against one, the Swedish got the ball. Got caught by a German player, one against one. And okay, there was Stephanie Nussa, she got stopped again. It was a bit last last minute save. So again, fighting on, on the surface for the ball. We don't really know what's happening apart from that. Because German got the ball. And we have now no defender from the Swedish team. But the ball was a little bit uh, far away, nevertheless, now this chaotic. We had two people in I front know, of, yeah. the, of their baskets, so then when the defender came, she had some, it wasn't that easy for her to position herself as good as... But they're still, you know, defending pretty well, but now there's no one or just the goalie alone, and there's two blue ones coming. Oh, that took a little bit too long to do the pass, because it was a good, well positioned. I mean, there was Mare and the number, no, Heike, sorry. No. One against one, and that's goal yeah, as well. That's Kati again, number 15, uh, scoring the sixth goal. I'm sorry, but the, the problems we have a list here that apparently is not really the same. I mean, some of the numbers are changed here, so... Yeah, I really think that the numbers on the fins do not correspond to the to their to the ones on the caps. It's their national team numbers. I know, uh, yes, but the pro yeah, then they... Sh mm. <laughs> don't read the fins, don't read the fins. <laughs> No, 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 no. Sometimes I recognize the, the body and the movement of the player, uh, but and and then then it's of course the number of the national team. But then when I check here, there's another per so I don't know. It's just complicated. Let's see, six zero, and there's a time out for Germany, I guess. Okay. No, now it's a black may black mirror. Okay, that okay, means so that the Germany, yeah, took it the first one. Yes, because they got um, there was a lot of free throws at the time. We are back here. Okay. And how much is left for this half time? Um. So 122 people voting. This is the sixth game of the day, 31st uh, Champions Cup. And this is just started at 3 o'clock p.m. of Friday here in Berlin. We started three hours ago. And coming up. Um, which is the game coming up? Uh, Marsch for the German men and Wien for the Austrian men. men yeah. So now we're it's the sixth day, sixth game of the day. Okay, the Swedish have ball, and in the open corner of the Germans and free throw. Oh, yes, they got out of the playing field, the playing area. Well, I'm just completing my post for the uh, chat because they were asking about who were the three nations and I just wrote down the three nations in a random order, not in the order that I thought we're going to win. Just I think those three nations have a chance to the first three places, uh, you know. So I, I was opinion, trying to, yeah. I was trying, that's my opinion, so I was just clarifying that in the chat. Writing and watching and talking, it's all that, a little bit more complicated. Asking, yeah. the, this, the Black Mermaids are defending quite consistently. The, yep. the problem is really when there is those surface crumbs, then they're, that's where they got two goals scored now with the surface crumb, or the last yep. goal was like that, but it was before a couple of times. Uh, the same dangerous situation that there is no defender, just a goalie, or the defender comes too late because they're busy just under the scrum or in the scrum and they're too close to the basket and then you have some German players actually getting down yeah. the basket and one uh, one situations are two <laughs> two against one so which is very dangerous for the time. And they 
game. There's uh, six seconds left. Probably some surface scrum again. The Germans have the ball. And the game is finished. So 6-0 for the German team. And uh, we now have the next game coming up as uh, the German uh, men team of Malz against the uh, Wien Austrian team. Um, Maybe you want to take a break on four yes, games? Yes, uh, um, so I'm, I'm going to leave Lisa with, uh, I don't know, we see who is coming. <laughs> So we just finished the sixth day game of the day at the 31st Champions Cup now. We are waiting for the men's game at TSV Malsch from Germany against UWAC Wien, so Vienna from uh, Austria for the group they play in group B. It's the first game in this group and I am commenting with Annika. Hello guys! So Annika's first time commenting the game. Yeah, I'm very excited. Okay, so yeah. let's see how it goes. It will be, I think, a um, quite intensive game, so much. <laughs> but this year they won the German League for the first time after 10 years. Of yeah, playing. they won 1-0 so against Bamberg. Against it was Bamberg. really tense. All, all people in the swimming pool were like, oh my god, what's going to happen? And so they're back at Champions Cup. So let's see, let's see how this game goes. Um, and for referees, so maybe we can say the, um, the player list? The player list, okay, um, it's here, yes. here. okay, so, so for, <laughs> for TSV Maus, um, number one is playing Markus Heckrad, number two is Sascha Büchner, number four is Martin Schottmüller, number five is Jens Dingel, number six is Georg Daringer, number eight is Jürgen Schier, number nine is Christian Förschler, number ten is Jochen Schottmüller, Number 11 is Michael Wiesel, number 13 is Christian Staubach, number 14 is Christian Prowald, number 15 is Alexander Wicht, and number 16 Florian Wiesel, number 23 uh, Colin Leible, and 24 is Matthias Otten. You want to go on me? Yes, and for Vienna we have number... we have two, number three, what, okay. Um, Number three, Jan Kindermann, but usually he plays with 56 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, other number three, Andreas Tanzmann. Five, Akos Atner. Seven, Peter Marecek. Eight, Jan Ove Wiesner. Nine, Thomas Jufmann. Ten, Ulrich Pont. Eleven, Matthias Neuenteufel. Twelve, Andreas Pell. Thirteen, Peter Kalkruber. Fourteen, Thomas Denk. Fifteen, Andreas Schneiderbauer. Eighteen, Markus Wimmer. 19 Baldwin Landl and 20 Thorsten Lütke. Okay, and for the referees we have uh, I have the names of the referees. That's Kaisa at deck referee. Deck referee is Kaisa Lindman, and then we have underwater we have Manuel Tito Tito Moraes and Rafael Tito de Moraes as well. So the two brothers are underwater. We have Thomas Schenkli watching in Colombo, watching from... Uh, 